How's it going guys, it's Wazza255 here for Blood Rose Allegiance. Uh, so the items needed for this fight are the Dark Totem, which is the three totem pieces, which you receive from killing monsters in the catacombs of Karend. Uh, superior foes on Slayer Task will always drop one, so be mindful of that. Uh, magic defensive armor for lower levels, three prayer potions is optimal. Uh, you'll need the Arc Light or Dark Light. So if you've got the Dark Light, you just need Ancient Shards. Uh, you'll also need some decent food and a Stamina Potion. The Teleport Out is optional because there is an exit portal in the corner. Uh, so as you can see, set your inventory up like mine. And my gear is a mix of Magic Defensive Armor and just strong melee attack bonus. So I've got a Defender, a Blessing, a Berserker Ring, Primordial Boots, Dragon Boots will work fine too, Barrow's Gloves, Bando's Tassets, a Carol's uh, Top, my Fire Cape, and the Dark Light, which I later show you how to make the Arc Light, which is the Ancient Shards in my inventory. I'd assume you know how to get here by now, but I'll still show you anyway. Uh, so you can teleport to Karend, which requires 69 magic. You've also got the Xerix Talisman teleport. So there's Karend, there's the Xerix Heart teleport. You can also use the Fairy Ring in the Arceus area, which is CIS. And then you would just run down. Uh, you've also got the other Xerix Talisman teleport, which is the Glade. You would run up and around here, go past the Mess Hall, and then just run to the top. Uh, you also have the lookout teleport over here, so you'd run down here, run all the way up and past the mess hall. Uh, so when ready, investigate the statue, climb down the hole. And from here, if you don't have the arc light, I'll show you what to do. So you drop the shark on the floor, in my case, because I need the inventory space. Unequip the dark light, and then use it on the altar in the middle and it'll ask you if you want to use shards on it. Uh, so the shards will charge it a thousand times and then you need three more per thousand charged. So as you can see in the chat log, it's charged an extra thousand per three. Uh, so when ready, you, you'll just use your dark totem on the altar. So when you're ready, uh, set your quick prayers up like I do with mine. Uh, so I go protect from range and I keep preserve on. Uh, the reason I keep protect from range as the quick prayer is because you're going to be at a distance for a lot of the fight. So you're going to be running to these pillars and hitting them. Uh, you will need to flick between protect from range and protect from melee. So when you're ready, use your totem on the altar and the fight will begin. So I begin with using my spec on him. And you'll see I also messed up by not having my prayer on. So at the start of the fight here, uh, you just want to melee him. And you'll notice those, those little rock animations he throws at you. That's when you want to switch your prayer. So he'll keep doing that. So that's the animation there. He'll keep doing that when you move away from him. Uh, so if you notice in the top left corner, there's the pillar that you have to destroy. So you want to be using your arc light for that. The directional compass will tell you where to go. And you can also click your compass next to the minimap to make it a little bit easier for you. So just keep fighting him as you would, don't worry about the minions, they're not really important and they don't hurt you for much damage. So focus on your pillars and make sure you're flicking better than what I am. So the reason you want to focus the pillars is because your damage will uh, be negated a lot more. So you can still hit him, it just won't hit as hard. So make these pillars your first priority and just continue the fight as you would.
So as you can see, that's what a completed kill looks like. This is the loot I received from killing him. Uh, for those interested, I only received about 40k from that glue scroll, so feels bad, man. Uh, so if you didn't bring a teleport, you'll notice in the corners that there's teleporters. So you can just use that and that'll teleport you straight back out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's any other uh, bosses or tutorials you would like me to make, please let me know below. Uh, just keep in mind that this is more so a beginner's guide to this fight. There are better ways and you can use the twisted bow and such.